Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. You know my name, still Daniel Knott, happy that you're here. And today I would like to do a reaction video to one of my previous own videos that I have done. You have maybe seen already the title, of course you have, and I would like to take a look at my video that I have done more than one year ago, and it was called, What are the five trends in software testing for 2022? Yes, 2022, we are almost at the end of 2023, I know, but I would like to take a look at what I have told you more than one year ago and what are the things that we have seen in 2023 and that we might see in 2024. So without further ado talking, let's take a look what were the trends that I mentioned and no worries, we will not take a look at the whole video like 20, what was it? No, 17 minutes long, which is uh, jump between the trends and then I will share my view as of today which is almost end of 2023 so let's take a look so oh the, the 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 first thing that I can tell you is you can see my old studio right I mean that was basically version one right it was I was standing in front of that blue wall because I had issues with the background and also the the the, the um, with the with the sound setup back then I had some topics and issues and you gave me feedback to that to improve it and here we are in the new setup I hope you like it from a video background and sound perspective so what were the first what was the first trend basically let's jump forward to it so yes low no code low code tools this is something that I have predicted in 2022 early 2022 i think it was yeah 21st of february the video uh, went live and yes i have seen that actually i mean look around there are like a lot of no code low code tools available on the market now that cover these kind of topics yeah so let's take a look what did i mention here sorry for the interruption of the main video i would like to thank you the main sponsor of today's video and it's shifts the community about quality engineering for developers, testers, DevOps, or product specialists. So don't hesitate to jump over to the Shifts in community to exchange with like-minded people. You can exchange with people on all tech and quality related topics, from software development, software design, software testing, security performance, and whatnot. And also the latest trends in tech are covered. Today I would like to highlight an awesome upcoming Shifts in webinar. On October the 31st, this year 2023 there is a really great AI event happening and it's called is generative AI taking over testing a webinar by David Colwell so don't miss out this great opportunity to learn more about the latest tech hype that we have all seen in the testing community and also in the development community which is generative AI large language models and how they affect our daily lives as engineers so in case you're watching the video after the event, make sure to also head over to the Shifts in community to follow up the conversation of the webinar. The cool thing is that all community members get the recording afterwards. So make sure to use the sign up link in the video description and start your community collaboration today. A big thank you to Tresentis in creating such a cool tech community. It will help all of us to grow. So see you in the community. And now back to the main video. Let's quickly jump forward. So these were the topics. Yeah, of course, companies would like to have faster release cycles and they don't want to spend much time on automation. And now even with no code, low code tools, there's this another hype, right? I mean, you have heard about it, AI, generative AI, prompt engineering, and all these kind of topics that you can now do in software testing products. And I think the no code, low code thing is, is still a topic, but I think it will be like, I have to say outrun or outruled by AI because it's much easier even to help or get help from an artificial intelligence to prompt just uh, test data, uh, migrate some code pieces and, st and the like. And um, so it's even less coding for you involved in case you rely on a test automation tool or a testing tool per se. 
Yeah. So that, that was basically the first trend that I predicted in 2022. And I have to say, partially I've seen that trend. I mean, not so much in, in, in software testing, to be honest. I have seen it more in um, the development space so that companies, especially I'm working as a consultancy company, that we have seen many requests from companies asking like, hey, what is there? Like, is there no, lo no code, low code tools for writing in the back end and these kind of topics. So. It's definitely it's a, it's a thing in the industry and it's still something that that might be around for another year or more so yeah trend one i think it's quite good yeah that's true i mean that's that's the that but that's not only for low code no code tools but that's also for everything right Finding the right tool is something really, really important to take take your time because just jumping on the on the hype wagon of yet the another tool, being it automation, being it testing whatever tool or being it coding tool, take your time and do your evaluation on the tool that you really need or that you really is really something that is for your tech stack basically because otherwise you will lose in the in the long run with the tool. Yeah. So let's see what's the next trend here. So let's jump to the end of the slide deck. So yay, blockchain applications. Um, hmm. Is this trend really something that we have seen in the software testing industry? No, I haven't. Yeah. I mean, of course, blockchain technologies and applications are still around. Some of you like them, some of you hate them. I know there's like this, these two, uh, like um, two chapters of things. There's not really something in the middle or people that haven't thought about blockchain and blockchain applications they have their their meaning and they have their um their right to be here and i, th I think it's just too early for the let's say product adoption to companies um, to actually know what they can do with blockchain technologies i mean there are lots of companies out there already uh, use contract um, um contracts um to to, to a smart contract that the word was missing to actually save the data and, and create contracts on the on the blockchain technology. Also the decentralized ledger technology, which is basically behind blockchains, is something that we might see in the future, but not now. And especially also not in the testing sphere. I mean, not in the broader range. I mean, of course, if you're working for a blockchain company or for a, um, a blockchain exchange company, for example, or exchange market, of course, you are like highly in the epic center of blockchain and technologies around that and how to test it. And I also made a, v a separate video about like how to test blockchain applications, but I haven't seen it in 2022. I haven't seen it in 2023 so far to be like the big trend in our testing industry, right? But if you are working in the blockchain industry and you, you, um, you have something to do with it, leave a comment below because I would love to chat with you and to to learn more about, like, uh, about it, how you test things and how you do things. Uh, because I, in my video, I talked a lot about it's software testing in the end, right? It's a piece of software, but it's different. I mean, there are different aspects when you test the blockchain. So for example, the whole non-functional requirements are important, like accessibility, um, performance, security, these kind of topics, also usability, how easy it is to use a blockchain technology is really important. But as I mentioned, if you are a blockchain tester, let me know. I would love to talk to you. So let's take a look. What was the trend three? I'm skipping to the part of it. And it was IoT applications. Yeah, IoT applications. I think it's not something that got as well another push. Like, okay, we need to go and do an IoT application. We need to do more um, IoT testing. But I see it a lot actually in my daily life as the head of product quality engineering at our customers is that more and more customers get, get in contact with us because they are building not only a native app, a mobile web app, a web application or a backend system. Some of them, they really rely on hardware. And now they finally step into that age of digitization where they have a piece of hardware, being it a car, a washing machine, or being it an, um, a mower for your, for your garden. They would like to connect it to the internet and they have the issue to actually do an end-to-end -end testing from the user interface, like the user like unboxing a piece of hardware and then has to configure it with, with a mobile device, with Bluetooth and these kind of topics and then get a lot of data from the device is still something that 
that we see in the industry, right? Or I see it in right now coming up. But um, of course, if you are in a completely different industry, you might not see it for sure. But I am seeing more applications getting interconnected. I mean, look around, you know, there's smart watches, smart speakers, all around like that, um, assistance, uh, assistance that you can use, chatbots, not GPT, and uh, it's not directly in IoT, GPT stuff, but it's also something else. But nevertheless, the interconnectivity between different software systems or hardware systems is some of it that will become more and more complex and will become more in the future. So I would not say that that was a big trend in software testing, right? if you are not in the industry, of course, but I think it will come into the future that we see more and more applications working towards multiple levels of hardware and software, yeah? So let's tune forward. What else was the fourth trend? It's security testing. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think I mentioned also in the video, it's an evergreen, right? I mean, it, it was a trend in 2022, 21, 2020, it, will, it was something in 23, it will become in 24, and it will remain evergreen. I think it's, we, can, we can strike out the trend. I mean, security is something that we have to take in, in every product that we're building. Yeah? Whenever we are calculating and changing user data, storing critical data, sensitive data, security should be the number one priority in each project, right? Because otherwise, you will lose the game. Imagine your customers enter their credit card data, they get hacked or you get hacked, you're out. Nobody will come back again. Yeah. So take security um, as a number one priority. If you don't have security experts, get help, convince your bosses, uh, ask the security questions in your team refinement planning discovery phase because otherwise you might lose it. Yeah. So that's important. And the last trend I mentioned was da -da -da -da, machine learning and AI in software testing. And yes, that's right. I mean, I was like one year too early because when I recorded a video in February 2022, there were like little tiny companies, trends coming up with machine learning and AI and things they would like to do with the testing systems and products. But now I think it was like right on time in January 2023, 20, or February actually, actually one year later, it this basically exploded, right? I mean, with ChatGPT and the, the mainstream media catching up these bandwagons on these, these topics, it blew up, right? I mean, if you are following my channel and you should basically follow it and subscribe, <laughs> shameless uh, self-marketing here. Um, I did a lot of videos in 2023 about AI, generative AI, prompt engineering, AI tools, AI assisted tools, and there are more videos coming in the future on that topic because I think that's really a trend that exploded like exponentially in 2023. And I bet it will, it will remain for the next years. I mean, there are lots of companies out there, really great products that are already using AI tools to help us as a software testing community to generate test data, write test cases, uh, write automated scripts from a single description, um, use it for um, for analyzing your, your requirements and so forth and so forth. And there's just more to come. And I think that's really something that is really taking off right now. And I have the feeling because I'm really also curious on that topic, I'm reading books, I'm also um, reviewing books on that topic already um, in the background for us as a community and I can tell you there's like a lot of cool stuff coming out that it's such a great topic and I, I think it has a similar the similar momentum than um, the mobile mobile area right I mean when Apple introduced the first iPhone in 20, uh, 20 <laughs> no not 2020 in 2007 I mean there were companies laughing uh, laughing at them uh, nobody will use like a big screen and if we, we keep to our keyboards and stuff don't want to tell a name here Microsoft Blackberry, <laughs> Nokia, you missed it, you failed, you see what's not going to happen to you. And I think similar things are going to happen as well with AI and they have the, or this technology has the chance to become the next big thing in the industry. And also, yeah, for us as testers, not only for being more productive in terms of writing and testing code, but also for the end user in talking to systems, get help. And of course, if you are into AI already, 
you know that AI is not perfect yet. I mean, there's ChatGPT, there's Bar, there's Dolly. If you ask them question, they blindly lie to you. So that's called hall hallucinations. Um, so they they tell you things that are completely wrong, but they or it the system thinks it's correct. So take it with a grain of salt. But we're getting there. The large language models they will be trained with prompt engineering inside companies. So there will be like private LLMs coming out in the next years and companies will use that power of machine learning and AI to build great products. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with products that we are using in the future, right? I will be, that will be a big change in things of using technology and I'm happy for it because we have a lot of things to do as software testers, right? And I, I hope you, you like it as well. Don't be afraid of AI coming into, into our world. I mean, once I have done the, the whole AI videos in the remaining weeks and months, I got so many questions from me. Hey, Daniel, I'm afraid now becoming a software tester because AI is basically getting rid of us. And, um, and the similar thing is what's going to happen with uh, developers, right? They are also afraid now Finally, they're afraid. No, I'm just kidding that they get replaced by a machine and for me, it has a similarity to uh, Towards a couple of years back when test automation became like a the big topic in the industry We need to automate everything we can get rid of testing test automation will replace software testing and What happened? We're still here. We're still around and software test automation is another tool that is helping us to do our jobs better and I think the same will happen with AI, right? We will use the tech to become better in the way we are working, in the way we are getting information right at our fingertips when we need it, when we test the system, right? And imagine you have like a really complex system, like an end-to-end -end IoT application connected to a plethora of APIs and is getting data from here to there and you would like to test an API and there would be like an AI assistant helping you telling you, hey, Daniel, if you test that input, you have to check that system again to see what's the output. So these kind of topics, like like this virtual assistant, like really like your best buddy that helps you to get your job done in a much better way, right? So that's what I really love to see. And I, I'm, I think I, I catch this trend in 2022 already, maybe a year too early, but hey, we don't know what's going to happen in one year and two years or three years in the industry. Yeah, and that was basically um, a quick reaction to the video that I've done one year ago, more than one year ago. I'm recording the video today at beginning of September and I made the video in February 2022, so more than one and a half years later. And I think they were good trends. I hope you liked the trends video back then. You can still rely on that if you haven't watched the video on my five trends in software testing of, for 2022. There's still truth in it. There's something that hasn't been become a trend, but that's life, right? And I hope you liked the video today. Let me know in the comment if you're a blockchain developer working in AI or what are your trends that you are going to see in the near future. I'm happy to see your comments. And as always, leave a thumbs up if you would like to support me, leave a subscription. Thank you and have a great day. Good night, good morning, whenever you're watching this video. Bye-bye.